Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse. Welcome back to another episode of Miraculous Monday, uh, the series where we go through the top 20 Reddit posts on the Miraculous Ladybug subreddit. Uh, now, this week we got a, a cool bingo thing. Uh, according to Dusted Rose, we actually got a bingo and that was a little bit weird with the, with the just a friend uh, rant. I'm gonna be nice and count it this week, so um, I guess if this week we get a bingo, then that means I'm wearing the wig next week. So, um, I'm not looking forward to it. Here's the bingo card right here. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Thanks, Dusted Rose, for keeping track of all that. Um, I appreciate it. So, I'm just, I, I'm praying that we don't get a, another bingo this week. But uh, it sounds like uh, the updates that were made last week actually had an effect and were helpful. So, that is great. As of this going up, there's only a couple days left to submit your art contest thing. Uh, I guess I'll leave a video link down in the description for all that info. Uh, it ends October 14th, which I believe is this Wednesday. So you've got two days, two days to submit. So if you haven't done that already, I feel like most people have submitted by now, but if you haven't for whatever reason, go ahead and do that now. Uh, yeah, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Exactly what Luca is. Well, this is certainly an interesting photo, I will give it that, because uh, it looks like this, it looks like you took a photo of your own, like, TV, and then you applied some, like, drawing filter onto it, and then drew in a couple things here, and then put a, a, a screenshot of an episode with the watermark, might I add, that annoys me, actually, a little bit. Uh, I don't like watermarks, so... Uh, yeah, there's that, uh, and then, and then I guess you drew in Luca as well, so, um, yeah, although Luca was there off the shot too, so that makes it kind of like a double weird, like, hmm, is Luca, like, secretly recording Marinette, and then this is what he does in his free time? Probably not, but, <laughs> oh, man, but, yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, Luca's just a sweet guy, you know, so, uh, yeah, I can't really hate on him too much. Some Lady Fairy AU by BB Bomb Bam fan art. Oh, okay. So when when they said Lady Fairy, I was like, what is this? But I, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is if Marinette had the butterfly miraculous. Now she actually looks really cool in this design. Oh, fan art designs are always so much better than actual designs. I don't understand why. Actually, I do understand why. Well, no, I don't understand why because, I mean, like, why why not make the designs look cool in the show? I mean, like. Cat Noirs is alright, I guess. I mean, like, it'd be cool if it had some extra, I don't know, flair to it, maybe? Ladybugs is trash. Like, Ladybugs is so plain and boring. It needs an update, but I don't think they're gonna give us an update. Uh, it's actually sad, because, I don't know, like, it could be so much better. And it's not like, like, this, if it was a 2D drawn animation kind of thing, I could understand why you might not want to do this, right? Because you have to draw this cool design every single time and all that stuff so it's a lot harder but in a 3d environment you don't have to do that you make the model once and it's you're good to go that's it so i don't i don't know i don't understand and it makes me kind of sad but yeah this one looks really cool so i'm drawing marinette with every miraculous what should i name mari with a fox miraculous oh this is pretty cool hmm what should you name her i'm sure someone's come up with a better name i'm not going to try to name her because i i don't know i'd have to like do some research and stuff, which I'm not willing to do right now. But let me know, actually this might be fun. People in the comments, comment what you think. Uh, this, this, her name should be with Marinette with the Fox Miraculous. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Adrian Agrest caught red-handed, clickbait, confirmed, weirdness. Marinette in love with Kent Noir? I didn't think he was her type. The fact that Adrian has thought about who Marinette's type makes me so dang happy. Uh, cause this means that he's been thinking about her relationship in a way like, hmm, Marinette sure is pretty, I wonder what her type is, hmm. That's interesting, what episode was this? Oh, I, I guess this would have had to be Wear Dad, right? Hmm. I guess that's a good point, I never really noticed that. But I guess, now that you point it out, that makes sense. I don't see... I mean, there are, there are subtitles, so I don't know if this was like... And this is RTS, so this may have been originally in French, so the translation may have been different. I feel like I would have rec or like remembered that, but maybe it's just I, I didn't because I don't know why. But yeah, I guess if this was really in there, like, that would be kind of interesting to think about because 
it does mean that Adrian has sort of thought of, I would, I mean, you would think, I mean, I guess Adrian's kind of dense, or not kind of, but like he is super dense. So I, I guess if, maybe not, maybe not, I, I don't know, with how dense Adrian is, it's really hard to say. <laughs> uh, I feel like in this, in this circumstance, we may be giving Adrian a little too much credit here, like, He's just like, hmm, I wonder as a friend if I could help Mar or help pair Marinette up with someone. What's her type? Like, it's got to be something like that, right? There's no way it's the other way around. <laughs> You'd think Hawkmoth would learn. When Mr. Pigeon gets akumatized 51 times and still hasn't captured the Miraculous, Hawkmoth, shame. That's a good point. Like, why? Hawkmoth, ugh. There's so many times where I'm like, Hawkmoth, you could easily win. Like, you have the advantage. You should 100% win. Like, you should have won, if not the first time, the second time. Okay? Like, there is no excuse how you keep, be like, being beaten. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, New York Special, I, I said this. With the Eagle Miraculous, keep it. Why did you give it away? You could have easily won with that. Like, ugh, there's so many times where I'm like, come on, Hawkmoth. All you gotta do is this thing, and it's so easy. Like, like I feel like a fun video to make would be like constructing a plan for Hawkmoth to finally win, and then it wouldn't even be hard. <laughs> like, it's just Hawkmoth is so stupid sometimes. So, ah, uh, yeah. You know what, Hawkmoth? I'm directing the shame back at you. Press Y to shame Hawkmoth. Can we just talk about how cool Astro Cat's suit looks? Okay, so we got. Oh, I need, you know, I never really stopped to like take a look at this, and I didn't. I didn't even see this frame. I guess. Yeah, these are some good shots. I did see this one, but this one didn't have much detail. I guess I didn't. I didn't really pay attention to this one. Yeah, his suit looks pretty cool. Astro Books is cool too, but not as cool as Cat Noir. Like Cat Noir outranks Ladybug in costume design by so many levels. Like, come on, Ladybug. Why do all? I will say. My favorite design from Ladybug has got to be the aquatic design. Her aquatic design is pretty good, but even then, like, her, uh, Cat Noir's is cool as well. So, like, I, I, I don't know, like, Ladybug, you're, you're sort of lacking. And you're supposed to be the designer. The costume is based on what you want it to be, and yet you have the most plain design. Like, come on, Marinette, you are supposed to be a designer. Why are your costumes, your costumes look like they were made by a four-year-old. Like, come on. It's, it's not that hard, I don't think. Like, uh, Ladybug, what are you doing? Therapy time. Me to the fandom after the special. Get in, losers. We're going to therapy. Yeah. So, well, we sort of got to wait, like, I don't know how long. It's going to be, like, not another year, probably. The Shanghai special, some people think it's coming, like, really late 2020. That's being hopeful. I'm thinking early 2021. We don't know officially yet. Jeremy Zag, Jeremy Zag did say like, you know, coming very soon to you. So I don't know, but we haven't really heard anything about it. Like we haven't seen anything. We haven't heard of like voice acting. I don't think being done yet. So like, I, st I end of 2020 is very is being very hopeful. 2021 definitely. Like I'm thinking early 2021. So we do gotta wait a little bit. But you have to remember. Like, we're actually almost done with 2020. Like, like, uh, so much has happened this year. And just, I feel like, for me, that sort of made it fly by. But maybe not. Maybe it, maybe it's just, like, me looking back on it. Like, oh, man, well, maybe it did go fast. But maybe it was actually really slow. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we got to wait. Assuming that it came out maybe, like, March. That gives us, like, five more months. Which isn't really that big of a wait. I mean... It sort of is, considering that we've been, like, waiting for 10 months, roughly, for the special. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, it's, like, half of that. So, you know, we, we've only got half, maybe, and it, it might even be less than that. We've only got half of what we had to wait from Season 3 to the special. So, uh, you know, there's there's um, a little bit of positive news. I like being positive, guys. We don't need to be Debbie Downers, you know. But if you guys ever need to talk about about hiatus and how it's how it's affecting your mental health, uh, put it in the comments. And if you if anybody sees comments like that, be supportive. Be like, yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. To 2020, you know, the special will be here before you know it. So, be a, be the good community. I know you are. He was born perfect. Please look at Adrian's masterpiece. We got Gabriel 
Emily and Adrian. Okay. What artistry? Yeah, well... Wait, is this? This looks like a real thumb. I, is this photoshopped onto here? I don't know. Huh? When, where was this? Where was this? What? What is this from? I don't know what this is from because this this clearly looks like Gabriel, right? But these thumbs look like real life thumbs. Although this is like, it may, it's probably just the angle. But this this thumb is kind of questionable, I guess. But this thumb, like they look real. They look like real thumbs. So I'm wondering if this was like in a stu like a like a, a studio tour or something and then they were like yeah so we got this photo that we printed out of of adrian i don't know that's kind of confusing i'd like to know the context because these thumbs look too real i mean maybe that's just the low qualityness of this image but i i don't know if any of you know please let me know because this is actually kind of weird so i'm just gonna leave it at that i guess i just love the samg animation in the new york special Okay, so we got Adrian, and we got Marinette. Yeah, oh, thank you so much, SAMG. I'm so glad they're at least doing something. Like, in all honesty, though, I think I would rather have them do season, like, seasons four and five, because there's just more content, I feel like, in there. I mean, there is for a fact, because the, the special was only 50 minutes, and in three episodes, you get that amount of content. So unfortunately they're doing only the specials and not the episodes which i would rather have them do all the episodes and not the specials i did ask that before but i'd like to hear it again um seeing with the new York, and I, I guess we haven't really seen a full dq season and dq has had a couple good episodes like capelanc was all right although the like the constant blue filter was a little bit weird um but it's not like DQ is is terrible. It's just they're not as good as as SAMG. I will say that. So um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Like, would you rather have an SAMG full season and no specials, or maybe no specials half a season? Like, maybe it's better to say DQ DQ animates half and SAMG animates half of season of season four and five, for example, and then um like dq animates the specials like i'd love to know like which one you'd rather go with because for me personally i'd rather have samg animate a couple like a few episodes like half the episodes instead of just like the specials so i don't know uh I, I, there's de there's definitely a reason why samg was taken off of the season four and five whether that's budget or whether that's just like they wanted them to devote all their time to the specials which I don't know. Both of those seem a little bit weird, but oh well. Uh, rest in peace, SAMG in seasons four and five. I feel like more people need to acknowledge Sparrow's savageness. The little croissants are en route. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's really savageness. That's just like, yeah, I'm calling them something cool because I'm a superhero and I get to do that. You know, I don't... Eh. I wouldn't really call it savageness. I don't know. You could always disagree with me. Uh, but I'm just saying that's just, I don't know. Present better arguments next time and then maybe I'd believe you. But like, just based off of that, not going to cut it with me. Angry Nino noises. Do you hang out with my son very often? Oh, who am I kidding? Of course you don't. Ha ha ha. Although I don't think that, I don't think he actually said that, did he? Probably not. And you know what, Gabriel? You are the reason, right? You are the reason why Adrian does not. Which, I mean, I guess he acknowledges that. But, like, come on. You should know this, Gabriel. You should be a, You should try to be a little bit nicer, you know? We don't like you, Gabriel, because of what you did in Capelon. And, well, I guess we already didn't really like you because, I mean, A, you're Hawkmoth, B, you're mean to Adrian, and C, you're, you're you. Uh, so, <laughs> it's just like why why do you do this like come on aeon slash uncanny knows hawkmoth's identity dun, dun, dun. okay uh can't play this because of copyright haha -ha. okay but basically she's saying no one can keep their identity a secret from me now here's the thing right technically she should be able to know but i'm sure there's 
I don't really want to say moral reasons, but there are moral reasons for why she would not do, like, why she would not just, like, be like, okay, I'm gonna go find out Hawk Moth's identity, and boom, problem solved, right? There are moral reasons against that because it's just like, well, why? I mean, obviously, maybe not, maybe not, but, like, I think there would be like, that's just like a dirty move to play, I would think, first of all. Second of all, she has not seen Gabriel's face. She has only seen Hawk Moths, from what we can tell. Now, I guess she probably could do like some mass face searching technology stuff, but you have to remember that, that Gabriel lives in France. So like, she would have to fly to France to do all that, I think. like. Like, to catch Gabriel, because she didn't really have time to do it, and by the time that she would be like, okay, well, maybe I can actually do this now, Gabriel's probably already gone. So, like, nothing really she could do at that point. So, I mean, technically, I think if she wanted to, she could go to Paris and figure it all out. Is she going to? No, because that makes for a boring show. Um, but, yeah, in theory, I think she could. But there are reasons why she won't. So, putting that out there, because... Uh, I think it is it is probably something that a lot of people were wanting to know, uh, but it's not going to happen, so, uh, yeah, because I don't know when, I mean, now that we have the season 6 and 7, presumably, uh, I don't know when, like, like, are we ever going to see a Hawkmoth be defeated, or are we ever going to see the, the, uh, Butterfly Miraculous be passed down to, like, Lila? Like, when are we going to see this? I, I'm kind of interested to hear, like... Like when that's gonna happen? Cause I mean, if there's like ten seasons, we could see we could be seeing Hawk Moth for those full ten seasons and never see Lila. I don't know. I, I I mean I I don't know. I guess it depends on how much plot they do. Cause if if season four, for example, is just like seasons two, then it's 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 gonna be a while. So I don't know. We'll just have to see what they do with season four, and then we can make an accurate guess. Uh, dumb silly cat. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're not the same picture. <laughs> well, this is definitely an interesting turn to this meme. Something that we have not seen before, but it's not bad. It's not bad. That's... <laughs> uh, well, I mean, there's a reason for it, I guess. So, I mean, nothing we could really do about it now. I mean, now that there's a quantum masking, he has a good excuse, and most people have a good excuse, except maybe not Alia. Although, I will say, I was reading the comments, and you guys were like, well, Aeon is advanced technology, this, this, and that, which, I mean, I guess is a fair point, but, like, it's still, I, I don't know, I feel like that's a weak argument, because, like, I mean, sure, she's an AI, and it's not, a, like, a direct code, but... It is it still, I, I don't know, man. Code is very exact, so it's like, you can't really, if A equals B, A equals B. Like, there's no saying, oh, well, actually, if I cover up the B and make it a C, the computer sees that it's still a B. You know, it's not like me showing it like, you know, I, I don't know, whatever. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe you guys are like, Aiden, you're stupid. And that's fair enough, I don't know, but, uh, yeah. Who else feels the same? Mom, who's your favorite? Ladybug, me, Ken Noir. Sweetie, I love you both equally. <laughs> it's you, a <laughs> lot. Uh, yeah. Although, if this was, if this was Thomas, if this was Thomas, this, like, it would definitely be Ladybug. Like, Thomas has such a bias towards Ladybug, it's actually, uh, it's not funny, it's like, Kind of sad, actually. I mean, like... I get that there's a favorite character, and there's a main character, right? Ladybug's obviously the main character, but, like... You're just kind of mean to Cat Noir, like... I mean... I mean, it is your show. You can do what you want with it, but I'm just saying, like... For the amount of people who really like Cat Noir, you really disservice him quite a lot. So, just gonna put that out there. Don't mean to start, like, a, a war, but I'm just saying. <laughs> uh... Be careful walking backwards. Hogma trips and falls. Is there a table behind him? It's kind of hard to see. I mean, there might be a table behind him, but... This is so out of context. Like, why? I, I don't... I mean, like, okay. So? Like, 
I don't know, like, even if there is a table behind it, like, so, so what? Like, I mean, if he falls, he falls. Like, what relevancy does this have? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is going on? Clever Easter egg. Camilla Hombre, I don't remember how she pronounced it. Michelle Obama, that is cool. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. I never really, I guess I never really thought to like pick apart each letter and rearrange it. How did you like figure this out? Were you just like, hmm, I wonder if there's any cool uh, things that we can do with this name. And then you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, I guess. There was I saw Thomas on Twitter. Someone pointed out like an old reference to like like you know the the three beetle or maybe they were ant people like ant superheroes that like were standing over here uh, in this photo. Thomas had retweeted that saying like secret or Easter egg number like four hundred and something. So like there may I don't know if that's like accurate. And he actually had a labeled list of all the Easter eggs in the <laughs> in the special. But if he does. That means there's like 400 Easter eggs in the special, and that's pretty crazy, I think, because like, I mean, this would be one of them, but like, that's insane, like, there's so much content to pick apart here. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. What does it all mean? All oh, the Kwamis, we want Nuru back, we miss him dearly, he's one of us, it's his birthday, Hakma has him, poor Nuru, also all the Kwamis, Dusu, the peafowl, yeah, I haven't heard from her, she's probably fine. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a fair point. Let's see, that was Sandboy. Sandboy was season two? Yeah, okay, so they didn't know. Okay, guys, it's fine. They didn't know about Dusu. Like, like they didn't hear from Dusu. They didn't, since Dusu wasn't activated, they assumed that Dusu was probably just missing, maybe. But they didn't know Hawkmoth had Dusu as well. So like, yeah, just saying, like, there's no, Nothing we can, nothing they could have done about that because they didn't know. Okay, so when it's Dusu's time for a birthday, I'm trying to remember Dusu's personality. We haven't seen too much of Dusu, but Dusu, like Nuru, you can tell, like Nuru doesn't want to be there, but Dusu, I feel like was sort of having fun with it. Maybe. I can't remember. I can't remember if Dusu, like, wanted to get out of that situation or if they were just like, yeah, okay, this is fine. I don't know. Um, I'd have to like really look into that because it might be interesting if, if they get Nuru back and Dusu's just like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm staying here. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> then it could be interesting, causing some problems there. Behind the scenes of Star Train. Rose, that trip to London was so fun. Hulika, it was. Although Alia is more excited of that photo she got of Adrian and Manon sleeping together. Luca breaks guitar string. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of sad because like, like, uh, Luca and Kagami, uh, if that Winnie tweet is, if that does hold water, then that means that Lucanet and Adragami is a thing uh, in this season. So, which I mean, I think it's a safe assumption to make. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess, but Luca doesn't seem to be that, kind of that way. Like, Luca, Luca's love is the kind of love where it's like, I want what you want, okay? Like, I want you to be happy, you know? And it's like... If Adrian makes you happy, then go for it. You know, like I'm full, I'm in full support of you, but I'm here if you want to, if you want me, right? That's sort of how Luca is. And so I don't really think Luca would react this way because like, it's just not his personality. Luca's just too chill, you know? So Luca, I don't feel like is the kind to get jealous. Although then again, we don't really know much of Luca's character aside from like, at least from what we've seen, he's a nice guy and I don't think he would react that way. But behind the scenes, he may actually be like crazy and be like, ah, I'm so mad, kicking things and breaking things. Like, we just don't know because we haven't seen too much of Luca. So uh, I guess we will learn probably, I assume we would learn more about Luca in season four. So I don't know. Very easy. My English teacher, this assignment is fairly easy. Just write about your happiest moments. My what now? <laughs> I need to stop attacking Adrian like this. Aw, sad Adrian, no. Okay, though, like, seriously, come on, guys, Adrian has some happy moments, like, like all his moments with Marinette, you know, like, she's a very good friend, you know, there's gotta be happy moments in there somewhere, right? So, don't worry too much about Adrian, you, you do, sometimes you give him too much credit, sometimes you don't give him enough credit, so, yeah, give Adrian more credit, guys. And for the top post of the week, a little Halloween drama. Ladybug, what should I be for Halloween? Ken or my girlfriend. Ladybug, yeah, that's pretty scary. 
Oh, that's so that's so mean, Ladybug. Why you got a new Kenya War like that? Although it's it, that is pretty funny. <laughs> I want to see what the conversation, like what Kenya War's reaction to that would be. Like, how would Kenya War feel? I assume. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I could see him making another joke. Like he could be like, well, maybe not as scary as as being alone or something. Although that wasn't very good. He might come up with something better than that, but um, I want to see his reaction. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Trip, but it's not important to me because he's just a friend. <laughs>